I'm at the National Pool Complex in Emsida with Nicky Grishti, captain of Malta's under-19 water polo team. And I wanted to ask him a few questions about water polo and see what it's like to be a player balancing sport and school. Nicky, how long have you had a passion for water polo? Uh, well, I've been playing water polo since I was eight, so that's a good ten years now. What made you choose water polo as a sport to play? Um, actually, when I was younger, I played a bit of basketball as well. But really what it came down to was my friends, they also played water polo, you know. And I was just kind of just preferred the sport of water polo compared to other sports. So that's really what got me there. Okay, and how do you feel as a sports player who plays basically professionally with the Maltese team and Banting School at the same time? Um, it's not very easy, definitely. I remember the first time I was called up with the national team was at the beginning of my first semester at university. So that was already a culture shock. I was in the middle of the lectures and thinking about what I'd be doing in training the same day, you know, so when it comes to balancing, I just, um, but I really never did find a balance. And you just have to focus on both and pray that both turn out okay. Obviously, they're both going to have an impact on each other. If you do better in one, you're probably going to go worse in the other. And just trying to find a place where you're happy with both of them. Okay, so do you think anyone can play water polo? When should you start and how long can you play for? Um, I think a lot of people can play water polo, definitely. I think you should start before you're 10 years old. Just about maybe 13 and you're pushing it. That's not to say that no one can start. I mean, 13, 14, there are players who started then and were with me on the national team. So you're too late to start. You're definitely too late. And how, how old do people play up to? Um, I would say there are players who are in the first division at 40, which is oh. quite a big game. And there are players in the second division who are actually 50. <laughs> but definitely, come 40, you're kind of pushing it. That's really the end of their career. And do you like need to be as tall as you are to play water polo? Um, no, no actually. Um, <laughs> there is a, a teammate of mine, John Naker, at Cyrene. He's actually one of the shortest players, I know definitely shorter than you, but he's also one of the fastest players I know, so he really makes up for it, he's a really good man. So definitely, it's not all about size and uh, strength. Speed comes into it, stamina and of course, can be a good mind for the game, eye for the game. That's a big factor as well. But you're always going to have low points, I suppose. I've definitely lost my share of games and uh, just recently we lost the under 20 league in a deciding match uh, just last year, so that was a big deal as well. And um, it gets you thinking, obviously, about what you're doing with the sport and if you're really progressing and whatever. But I think really what it comes down to is enjoying the sport for what you're doing, trying to take more from the positives and from the negatives. And all in all, it really does help you, both the good and the bad. Just in becoming, I believe, becoming a better player, becoming a better person, becoming a better everything, really. Yes, of course. So if you enjoy doing something, you're always going to do better. I guess. What do you think Molotov's level is on an international water polo scale? Um, I couldn't give you an exact pinpoint position on that, but I can definitely tell you that it's going up. Whatever it is, wherever it is, we're definitely on the rise. We've won our sh fair share of international tournaments now. We're coming to a stage where it's always been a kind of goal to qualify for the big, big tournaments, the European tournaments, or tournaments. And we really think we're right there, we're knocking on this door. And hopefully in my lifetime we'll manage to achieve that. Um, what it's given to me personally, I can say, is definitely it's affected my career, it's affected my entire life. Just as any sport with anyone, just as any discipline with anyone. And when you do well in a sport to do well in a sport, it takes discipline, it takes uh, patience, definitely. It takes teamwork. I really factor that in team sports. That you can't get anywhere by yourself. You can be the best player in the world, but it comes down to the team. And that's a big deal. And I really love it as a team. Have you ever considered taking water polo as a full time job? Definitely. I mean, it's been done, of course. I mean, there are Maltese players, at least one I can name, who's made it in the top leagues in Europe and is playing professionally or whatever. But for me personally, I've always just imagined myself in the future at a desk job. And what we're is just that thing on the side that we you know, keep working. In more of there's a tendency for people to play sports more as just a hobby than professionally. What do you think about this? Um, well, I agree with that. I mean, there is definitely a tendency for that. And I think it comes down to our education system as well. I mean, and even to just overall, I mean, not yourself as a parent, you have a child who's obsessed with the sport, but his exams are coming up. Obviously, you're going to tell him to focus on his exams because you. You don't want to say he'll never make it, but you know, you don't never think he's actually going to make it. It's much more difficult to make it professionally in a sport than to That's finish your education. Not that it's not been done, especially for water polo. 
there have been cases of professional players coming out of what I just said about uh, Steve Camilleri, for example, playing in the Italian Serie A, which is massive, of course. So it's definitely a possibility, and I really hope it happens more in my lifetime. But like I said, I'm just I'm in it for fun, I'm in it for it to be my hobby on the side.